All right, so now we are going to go over creating a custom audience. Now, before, in one of the prior videos, we talked about saving an audience. And in this video, we're going to go over creating a custom audience. There are two different things. The difference between a saved audience and a custom audience is when we were in the ads, setting up who we wanted to target, we had saved the defined audience, right? So for example, right here, let me just show you first where we get to these. I apologize about that. So we go to the hamburger menu and it's under the assets portion under audiences, right? It'll load up and it'll, we've, we've collected and saved quite a few different ones at different points in times um, through saved ones and also custom audiences. But when we go through and we say, Hey, you know, we're going after uh, teachers, the minus preschool teachers that are 35 to 54 year olds within a 21 mile radius. Instead of us having to go through every single time and set up that ad set like that, or the audience, if you recall, in the actual ad set, we had saved the audience. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that was in module two for the targeting portion. So, it will show you your actual saved audience in the amount and the size, right? So creating a custom audience is a little bit different. And let me show you how and what that is. So we'll come to the audiences portion, like I mentioned, and then the hamburger menu, select audiences. And we're going to create an audience. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to create a custom audience, right? Now we have many different options when creating a custom audience. You know, we can upload a file, right, which would be email addresses, things of that nature, some kind of database that you might have, and you would just upload it, and that will create this specific custom audience. We can create custom audiences based on website traffic and what pages they've actually visited. Uh, this one's for app installs. It's not really relevant for us. And the engagement on Facebook, now, I'm going to create a custom audience based on the people that have, for example of this video, that have filled out a form, right? The lead generation form. And this is where we would find it. It would be the engagement on Facebook portion. So when you open it up, there's options to break the audience down, right? What do we want to do? What is this custom audience going to be? Is this a custom audience for those who have watched our videos on Facebook? Is this a custom audience for those that have actually filled out the lead form? Is this a custom audience for those who have opened up the canvas and they viewed it? Or is this a custom audience for those who have actually gone to our Facebook page and taken some type of action, right? Maybe liked it or liked the post or shared it. Some kind of just interaction within our Facebook page, right? So for the purpose of this video, we're going to have it be a lead generation ad. Right? We want to make a custom audience for those who have completed our form. Now, the reason we want to create this type of audience could be for several, there can be several factors, right? But the first thing that comes to mind is when we're running our lead generation ads, after somebody fills out an actual lead form and sends it to us, we don't want to keep marketing to them for that particular ad. I'm not saying that we don't want to market to them later for other offers, but if we're targeting people that live, you know, teachers within a Sacramento area that are between the ages of 35 and 54 and they live within a 21 mile radius, well, after they fill out that form, there's really no need for us to keep showing them that specific ad. There might be other ads we want to show them, but for that specific ad, we don't need to show them that, right? So we would go to the lead ad form and from here we would select the actual lead form right there's many different um well, in here there's many different ones we've created but for your campaign there should really only be one maybe two a couple it doesn't really you know there it doesn't matter how many are there but the, the point is you'll just select the actual form the name uh the one that you created right so for example i did this one potential home buyers in atlanta now what I want to do is I want to include people that submitted the form right now. In another video, when we get into retargeting, 
I will go into those that actually opened it, but they didn't submit it, right? Or those who just, anyone who opened it, right? So, I mean, it's, it's, we can get pretty trick with this and nail down some stuff, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to target, uh, excuse me, create the custom audience of those who opened the form and submitted it. Like I said, we don't want to keep targeting to them. Now, the limited pay, uh, excuse me, the limited time is 90 days, as you can see here, maximum time, 90 days. And I'm just going to name this, you know, uh, fill out. The potential home buyer form. And if you wanted to, like it says here, you can add a description. So I'm going to hit create audience. Now, I don't know if you noticed that, but it just kind of kicked in and, and added that. As you can see, it was created on 5 1 at 10 21 p.m. And it's saying, hey, it's going to take up to 30 minutes for it to generate. So if you chose to, you could go and create an ad right from here. But for the purpose of this video, I like to let things gather, right? And then work on it and create the ad after that. That doesn't mean that you could not start going and working on it. And what'll happen is as you're creating the new ad, as this populates, that would be who you're actually going to target for that specific ad. Now, that's just my preference. I like it to be set up. That doesn't mean that that's wrong or that doesn't mean that that's right. So really what's going to happen is Facebook's going to gather the audience and when there's enough people, it'll start serving the ad. Obviously the ad has to be created. It needs to be approved. It needs to have objectives, but it won't actually start serving until there's enough people for it to actually go to. So I'm going to go through and create another custom audience and we're going to go and do, let's say, website traffic, right? Now, for this one, because it is website traffic, it allows us to, as you can see there, maximum time, it allows us to go out a little bit further as far as timelines, right? So let's just say, I mean, I like this one to be honest with you because there's many different ways that we can actually target people based on certain things. So in the last bonus video, I mentioned um, people that go to the actual general mortgage loan page and then they go to our veterans loan page. Well, here's what we could do. And what we'll do is set it up for people who visit specific web pages. Now you could set up an audience for anybody that visits your website. Right, it's gonna throw up uh, anybody that's visited essentially your website. And if that's what you want, by all means, that's how you would go through, set it up and then name it. But what I wanna do is, I wanna say, people who visit, let's go, the general mortgage page. And, Let's go to this one is trying to stack it for me so it says or that is not the one I wanted to do. Ah, there it was right there. Custom combination. My fault. So don't follow that specific step. People who visit the specific web pages, that one, it would all attract one or the other as you had seen there, right? So I'll go back to there just to finish that one out since it kind of put me on the spot. So as you can see right here, what this audience would be defined as, those who either visited the mortgage loans page or those who visited the veteran loans page. Now, that's not what I want to do right now. What I want to do is a custom combination for those that have visited the mortgage loan page and those that have visited the veterans page. All right. So, 
this now is saying, hey, the audience that I'm going to define has visited the mortgage loans page and the veteran loans page. And that's all the people that's going to come into this actual audience, right? It might not be as big, but when I go to target these people later, I already know where they've been, right? So I know that when I select this audience, do mortgage page and veteran page. Now when I go to select this audience, I would actually go out a little bit further, honestly, for the date time, unless, unless you feel that that traffic, you know, maybe 60 days out or 90 days out is not as relevant. Some people, I mean, I know people that say, hey, I only want to define people and target people that have visited in the last day, two days, three days, four days, five days, you know, because they're feeling that after, say, 30 days that the need or desire for their service is no longer relevant, they might not feel that targeting these people 30 days out is worthwhile. You need to utilize your best judgment. It's, it's hard to say, right? I mean, just because somebody came 33 days ago doesn't mean that they're not interested in what you have to offer, right? So you got to be careful with this and just know that the days and factors, excuse me, the days and time, it does factor into how, how well and how defined this audience is. So if somebody came to the mortgage loans page and went to the veteran loans page, but it was on day 31, it was 31 days ago, they're no longer going to be in this audience. So just so you know what the day period means. I mean, after, after day 30, they're dropping off. Right. So if you feel that's fine, by all means, then make it 30 days. If you feel that you want to target people that have visited and in the past 60 days, that's, that's good too. Now, if you notice, I don't want to go and create this audience yet, but we could add another layer here, right? We could, excuse me. Go here and say, hey, they visited and they actually submitted a form, right? So maybe we want to let them know that an agent will be talking to them soon. You'll be talking to them soon, a representative, somebody from your company in your message when you go and select this audience to target. Obviously, we know they went, they visited the main mortgage page, they went to our veteran loan page, and they actually submitted a form. This is who this audience would be. Now, if we wanted to, we could say this, hey, listen, folks, I want to target those that have been to these two pages, but yet I don't want to target anybody that has already submitted a form, right? Why do I need to keep, why do I want to define this audience and show those that have actually made it to the thank you page, right? I know that they've contacted me, so hey, Facebook. Target these people up here, but at the same time, if they've come and actually submitted a form, there's really no need to target them, right? So, I mean, you can get very specific with this, or you can have a, you know, a pretty wide net on the actual audience that you want to target. So, I'll just remove this for a moment, and we'll just say that, like I mentioned here, that this audience name will be viewed the mortgage page and the veteran loans page and go create the audience. As you can see, it's now being populated. It says it's too small because obviously that URL does not really exist, but I wanted you to see the purpose of how you can create a custom audience based on the actions and websites or the web pages that people have visited, right, within your site itself. So if somebody has come to the homepage, went to the Contact Us page, and let me just do it here, so we're not looking just at that. Go engagement on Facebook, oh, bear with me. They, they went to your site, 
they went to the contact us page. But they did not make it to the actual thank you page. Right? So now what we want to do is bear with me. They went to the thank you, or excuse me, the contact us page. And they did not go to the thank you page. So really what would happen is this is how we would define it, right? They went to the contact us, but they did not go to the, to the thank you page. Bear with me. All right, sorry about that. I was struggling because it wasn't allowing me to put it in there correctly. And the reason is, because I was actually in the wrong formatting portion. So what we want to do is, when we're setting this up, it was this portion right here. People who have, there we go. People who visit specific pages, but not others, right? So this is where I was looking for. I got kind of tripped up real quick. So they went to your website, slash contact us, but they did not include the right so they only get to the thank you page by submitting the form on the contact us page right so what we've defined here is that hey facebook someone who's gone to our contact us but not our thank you page this is what i want this audience to be right thank you contact page, but not thank you page. Obviously, you will set the time and duration, but now what's going to happen is when we go and we run an ad specifically for these, these people in this audience, we know that they've gone, been to the contact page, but not the thank you page. We know now that we can create a specific message for them, right? Because they have not gone to the contact page, or excuse me, the actual thank you page where we want them to, right? Sure, they've seen our information. Now, you got to be a little tricky with that because obviously you might have a phone number on your con not might, I mean, I'm hoping you have a contact page that has a phone number on it. If not, please put your phone number on your contact page. But for this, the actual sake of this video, we're saying, hey, you know, they, these people went to the page but did not actually submit a form. Now what's going to happen is we're going to create a specific ad for those people. And I will cover that in the next video as far as we talk about for retargeting, right? How we want to be able to set this up and so on and so forth. So I just wanted you to understand about creating custom audiences and how it breaks down and how you can do it.